right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, today we're going to continue watching season six, and we're going to be watching episode six. So, coming off the of last episode, where the end, found out the originations of Hodor, and why he says nothing but Hodor, mm -hmm. and the unfortunate fact that Hodor is probably dead now. Because he, Holding the door and getting overtaken by the White Walker people. He's dead, but not dead. Well, he might be undead. Uh, Jora and Dario. Well, Jora got sent away to get healed by Daenerys. He showed her that he had the, the grayscale. What else happened in episode five? John, did John, John and Sansa left? That's about it, right? John and Sansa. It's with him, with John, at the wall. Lord Baelish. Oh, yeah. Baelish went and saw Sansa in the whole town. Exactly. She wasn't happy with him. She wanted to almost had Brienne kill him. Should have did that. Probably would have set her some headaches in the future. You know. Possibly. It, it's like she still hurt for what Rans did to her. That wet night. Yeah. It would mess with her face. That's what she said. He needs to face up and start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most like to use people in the face. Oh, sure. Got stabbed in the neck. Right. Another episode before. I don't know. Well, I can't remember. It's all coming to you. I mean, it's not all running together. It's all running together. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, let's, let's watch episode six and see what happens next. Yeah, if I don't watch the episode right after, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember much. We need to be careful in dealing with such a man. The future of the Seven Kingdoms rests in his hands. Queen Marjorie will make her walk of atonement. That will not happen. Oh yeah, she killed the... The Blackfish escaped. An old man on the run, no allies. I have Tywin Lannister backing me. Who does he have? The Citadel doesn't admit women. If we're not going to Old Town, where are you taking me? To my home. A girl has been given a second chance. There will not be a third. It was you. You made the White Walkers. Sound like oh, Martell guy. I believe in second chances. I don't believe in thirds. Hmm. We don't believe in nothing now. He's dead. Hmm. Get run and run! Oh, Brand got to be doing brand things and just doing stuff on his own, causing trouble. <laughs> well, he, he just knows him. Curious. Yeah. Well, if he hadn't been curious, this wouldn't have happened. She got that thing around her neck. You know, she got the big arm. Like around her shoulders. Oh, yeah. Like a backpack, kind of. Yeah. Oh, she ain't big, she ain't big enough to be a uh, bullet head too far. <laughs> kind of seen everything that's happened so far, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> Ha! 
Bang them all! Ooh, the Mad King. Budging, mm. they had adrenaline and <laughs> ran out. Yeah. Now reality setting in going, this sucks. <laughs> and your big tail around while you talking about are you sitting up there trying to be in your own little world? Fuck your butt up. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Mira, they found us. Hmm. Didn't take long. So it did. It's probably took, took them that long to catch up. Mm -hmm. Odor must have held that door for a good while. Okay, who is this? <laughs> Drag your song. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Come with me now. <gasps> Get up. Yeah, don't be don't be thinking about it. Say it don't rest. Oh, green. Oh, yeah. Now what? And they riding in a rich little... <laughs> like, is he rich? That family rich? Yeah, a little bit That's I... Well... Tofa, you'll start seeing the autumn colors coming in. I don't know how... I'm like I'm thinking of how I when I first... When he first came on the scene and how he dressed. Yeah. When you first see him, he's in his black clothes. So. Didn't think I'd ever come back here after my father made me renounce my title and inheritance and my friend to kill me if I didn't. That person just doesn't feel welcome at that point. <laughs> Sam, yeah, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Little Sam is your baby. Yes, now that's very important. If he thinks that Little Sam is his grandchild, he'll take you in. What did you tell your family about me? I told them I met you in the north. Did you tell them how far north? Well, it, it wasn't a very large piece of parchment. Tell <laughs> <laughs> them I'm a wildling. The thing is, my father doesn't like wildlings. Probably a good subject to avoid, if at all possible. <laughs> Just avoid it. Yeah. All together. Oh, that's a big up. Yeah, Sam got a little bit of money. And got service waiting on. Look at Sam. Oh, Sam. Oh, hello, mother. <gasps> <laughs> I never thought I'd see you again. You look wonderful. Oh. oh. You're a woman now. <laughs> Father says I have to marry Simon Fossaway. He has yellow teeth. That's and... enough, Tala. <laughs> I'm happy to know you, Lady Tali. Oh, and, and, and this. This is our son, Samuel. Hello, little one. <laughs> who did? Oh, okay. <laughs> she all right. We're like, who did? Hi. Yeah, hey. Where is father? Did they come? They're on a hunt. 
They'll join us for dinner. <laughs> Is there no other way? You're afraid for her. Well, of course I'm afraid for her. <laughs> it just seems very dangerous. She'll be protected the entire way. I gotta say, he's gullible. Tommy is gullible. But he's also, in a way, disciplined by respecting his elders. Yeah. I mean, he had to look at it like that. So call him stupid. I mean, he's stupid. Would you like to see her? Yeah, nice and clean. Yeah. Have they hurt you? Have they mistreated you? No, Your Grace. Have you spoken to him at all, the High Sparrow? Yes. Have you? Yes, I have. He's not quite what we thought he was, is he? <laughs> like, what? Mm, yeah, you're crazy. No. No, you don't. You, you're right. He's not. He's a lot more... He is. She been brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or she's just playing the game. Repent. Because she went and talked to Loris. I got tired of getting knocked in the head by the what's her name? Repent. Repent. <laughs> I've had lots of time to think about how good I was at seeming good. I don't understand. It's all right, it really is. What about Loris? I love my brother. I will always love my brother. He just needs to atone for them. We all do. Sooner or later, one way or another. I mean, like, you were so kind of about, I gotta see my brother. Yeah, well, she's all brother and I, she's all like, doing whatever he says. He said, I don't care who he is. He just wants out of there. They must be beating him like Bailey. <laughs> it's beautiful. You're beautiful. Hair look clean, dude. I haven't had a bath in years. Hmm. Hmm. That's old daddy, huh? He looks like a pleasant man. He looks like he disgusted Sam, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This venison, it's very tasty. Is it from today's hunt? Well, no, we haven't been able to cure that one yet. Mm -hmm. Brought it down from 70 yards, one shot. Oh, that's a, that's a fair distance. So do you do much hunting up at the wall? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, um, a good amount. North of the wall, you don't hunt, you don't eat. Mm. <coughs> Rabbits. Sometimes it's squirrels. Look around. Yeah, my son eating rabbit and squirrels. Yeah. She's, she's she's quite quite a good hunter as well. Um, huntress. Your father taught you to hunt. Our father would never teach us. I think our father could learn a thing or two from your father. Not enough of that. Not fat enough already. Mm. What? The mother, she like, I don't care. This is my son. I travelled south under orders from the Lord Commander. He wants me to... I read your letter. I thought the Night's Watch might make a man of you. Mm. I managed to stay soft and fat. <laughs> soft and fat, really? Oh, wait, you still can't sit a horse. A wield a sword. Randall, to be maester of the Night's Watch is a great honour. He can wield a sword. Hmm. He killed a then. Killed a white walker. I saw it with my own eyes on our way down to Castle Black. 
He drove a dagger into the walker's heart. He risked his own life to save mine. Say about that, right? Greater warrior than either of you will ever be. <laughs> Stay in my life. Sounds mm -hmm. like. Where did he kill a white walker? She's like, oops. <laughs> How'd you come to meet my son? The Night's Watch came to our keep. Where? Okay. North of the wall. North of the wall. You're a wildling. A person. <laughs> What's that? I'm a person. <laughs> they talk about these wildlings like they're animals. <laughs> He got a complex. Oh. <laughs> he still got a complex. Well, if he had to sit there and endure dinners like this for since he was a child, I'd probably have a complex too. Yeah. Sit there and just talk down upon it all day, every day. If he were to become Lord Tarly of Owen Hill, it would be the end of this house. Hmm. He must be the oldest brother. Yeah, he's the oldest son. You overestimated him. Well, it was a well he's winning everything over there. Yeah. This is you getting back at me, boy? Hmm? Bringing that to my table and making me dine with it. I'm like. This be so funny if he up there doing all that. And he's so nervous because you know he's a nervous talker. He fart when <laughs> his daddy talks. Right. He dishonors us. You dishonor yourself. Your mother's a fine woman. You're not worthy of her. I think you're worthy of her, dude. And you can work in the kitchens. The bastard will be raised here. This will be the last night you ever spend at Horn Hill. He raised here. That means like he's taking his children, his family away. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry I let him treat you that way. I was afraid he'd turn you and little Sam away. I'm not angry at you. I'm angry that horrible people can treat good people that way and get away with it. Right. When do you have to go? First light. Like, daddy, don't go. I think you're... You're not what he thinks you are, Sam. He doesn't know what you are. What happens if dad figured that he would turn out like him if he all he do is talk down to himself, showing him the way? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm dead down. Be it my mom. Sam? We're leaving. What? Sam said, I'm not leaving my family upon an this. What are you doing? We belong together. All of us. Sam, Sam, I'm not leaving my family up in here. Sam, that's your father's sword. It's my family's sword. Sam, hmm. won't he come for it? That's a big sword. He can bloody well try. Sam got the balls now, huh? Yeah. That's what happens when you have your own family. Look out for him. I can be looking out for him. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Seriously, you gonna tell me, shut up. Seriously. <laughs> <me. laughs> Drink long and deep, my noble king, from this cup of sweet wine. The last drink he shall ever take, and vengeance shall be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Poison! Murder! I'm sorry, but he sucks as a hacker. Uncle Imp!
Relax. <laughs> My golden lion, foully, falsely slain. Hear my prayer, O oh, cruel gods, take my life instead. O oh, darkest day, my heart is full of sorrow. <laughs> Someone I'll soon send to hell. It's time to see if truth they told. Who said Tywin Lannister ships gold? Ah! Oh, you beast, you beast. Alvin Lannister. Yeah. <laughs> My greatest crime. <laughs> they do a little bit of overacting on the. Mm -hmm. To you, more treachery. Come on, Arya. Yeah, you ain't gonna get no third chance. Do what you told. Then she'll be thinking. How are you gonna kill somebody? Because they better than you. Mm -hmm. You know? Practice. Give this a good beating. Shake those fleas up. That's a deer. Girl. What are you doing back here? Nothing. I saw you the other day in the audience. Oh. <laughs> I remember when the players came to my village. I didn't have any money, so I snuck in. I ran off and joined them the next day. Never looked back. You're very good. My final speech is shit. But to be fair to myself, which I always like to be, the writing's no good. How would you change it? The Queen loves her son more than anything. And he was taken from her before she could say goodbye. She wouldn't just cry. She would be angry. <laughs> She would want to kill the person who did this to her. That now she means it. Do you like pretending to be other people? I have to go. My father's waiting for me. Lady Crane, they loved you. They were sweet. Oh, ugly seer. <laughs> oh, they loved her. They'll love her. <laughs> I do what I can with what I'm given. <laughs> what you're given? What? I was thinking. Oh, we're all thinkers now, are we? Why should my ideas have any more value than yours? Simply because I've been doing this my whole life. Who's anyone to judge my work? Hey, you still, sir. I don't know, right? To an opinion. Look at that. there. Careful of that one. She wants you dead. <laughs> of course, the stalkers fall on her. I guess she said, no, I can't give up my name. My name means something. It's dark. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but they're going to kill you. Ooh. How they do, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. as I expected. Shame, you promised me. He promised her to kill her, she can kill her. Don't let her suffer. I guess oh, she coming for you. The little heifer that you could never be. I ain't mean, like for real. Look at her. This is your honestly thing. It was like. Oh, stomach out and everything. Can't say his chest out, his stomach out. That's a kind of like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on that horse. <laughs> you just need a little shorter legs. <laughs> he do got short legs. Madness has overtaken this city and grasped in its claws my children. Yeah. He's so dramatic. 
Magnus has had its day. See his, I mean his uh, shield. I mean his breastplate. Yeah, he got flowers. <laughs> I, uh, it's the grow strong family. <laughs> Marjorie of House Tyrell came to us a sinner. She disgraced her house, her king, and herself. Hey, what? She always been nice to us. Oh, no. I was surprised. Hmm. Grandmother. Lord Tyrell. Hmm. Sir Jamie. Sorry to interrupt. We're here for Queen Marjorie and Sir Loras Tyrell. I don't have the authority to give them to you. And you don't have the authority to take them. That's right. That's right. Speak for King Tommen of House Baratheon, first of his name. The gods don't recognize his authority in this matter. Every last sparrow will die before Marjorie Tyrell walks down that street. To die in the service of the gods would please each and every one of us. We yearn for it. But there is no call for it today. There will be no walk of atonement. <laughs> Queen Marjorie has already atoned for her sins by bringing another into the true light of the seven. Yeah, he looks like he's about to hit his hood. That's fine. <laughs> this idiot boy. Oh, they got that. They changed that up real quick, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Maybe they had some old ones like that. Mm -hmm. ...alliance between the crown and the faith. The crown and the faith are the twin pillars upon which the world rests. Together, we will restore the seven kingdoms to glory. <laughs> you like, yeah. Got the king on my side now. Mm -hmm. He most definitely can die. <laughs> he most definitely can die. What's happening? He's beaten us. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. He like, she like, keep up. <laughs> yeah, for real. When you attack the faith, you attack the crown. Really? Attack the crown is unfit to serve as Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Really? Well, uh, Uncle Kevin was in on the plan, too. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do anything. I have to answer to the gods. Not when you're sitting in that chair. The crown's decision on this matter is final. He and the uncle looking like... Just say so, and we, we'll take care of it. You know what I'm saying? You have served your house and your king faithfully for many years. And you will continue to do so. But not in this city. Hmm. You're banishing your, your daddy? You've lost it. That, this old fart. <laughs> Why he ain't the idiot? I don't know. You didn't lose River Run. You let the Blackfish take it from you. He surprised us. I don't think it's fair to blame For us. 300 <clears throat> years. We kissed Tully Boots. River Run is ours. Take it back. You'll show him the knife you used to kill Rob Stark's child in its whore mother's belly. <laughs> and you'll show him the knife you used to open his niece's throat. And 
And you remind him who it was that got married at the Red Wedding in the first place. <laughs> His nephew. Hmm. I'm surprised. <laughs> He's still alive. Cheer up, Lord Edmure. You're going home. I'm being sent to deal with the Blackfish. Apparently, Walter Frey can't manage it on his own because he's 400 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Better you're elsewhere at the head of an army than in the Scepter Dungeons. I'm going to give Bronn the largest bag of gold anyone has ever seen. And have him gather the best killers he knows. I'll take them to the set, and I'll remove the High Sparrow's head and every other sparrow head I can find. You can't. He has our son! He stole our son! That would sound like Cersei, man. Mm -hmm. Treat people who tear us apart. We should treat them without mercy, and we will. But if you kill the High Sparrow, you won't leave the Sept alive, and without you, this is all for nothing. <laughs> Stand at the head of our army where you belong. Show our men where their loyalties belong. Show them what Lannisters are, what we do to our enemies. <laughs> and take that stupid little castle back because it's ours and because you can. Who well, this is my thing. Y'all a bunch of talk. She a bunch of talk. She really don't do nothing like she say she Because she could have had the sparrow killed with the map, right? you a bunch of talk. <laughs> that dude could kill anybody. Yeah. So big. Oh my god. Nasty again. It's, it's, it's so funny. That's why she was in that predicament in the first place. That walk of the atonement. We'll always be together. We're the only two people in the world. You might die. And back and walk in and go tell the sparrow again. You know what okay. I'm saying? Then Jamie be out there. Yeah. Why did you help us? Three-eyed raven sent for me. The three-eyed raven's dead. Now he lives again. <laughs> <laughs> when I last saw you, you were a boy. Who are you? We want to know. That's Stark, brother. Right? Yeah. Uncle Benjamin. Uh, I thought he was dead. They, uh... Well, he don't look a lot. He look a little rough. I mean, he went out, remember, from yeah. the wall and never came back? The White Walker stabbed me in the gut with a sword of ice. Left me there to die. To churn. His children found me. I stopped the walker's magic from taking hold. You are the three-eyed raven now. I didn't have time to learn. I can't control anything. You must learn to control it before the Night King comes. I'm like, who is that? It's come out of the blue. Yeah. All right. How many days ride to Marine? A week at best. So we ride from Marine, and after that, we sail for Westeros. And what then? I take what is mine. You weren't made to sit on a chair in a palace. What was I made for? <laughs> You're a conqueror, Daenerys Stormborn. Wait here. <laughs> they look like wrestling. What are you doing? They look like they're in wrestling. I know I do a track, man. I was on a genie. And it's scared. I don't blame. They're like, what the heck? Yep. 
Yeah. Y'all got Chow's horse. This is my horse right here. Ejal, pintir nahan, okay, send a trakoi. Vos maanha, vos kal. Hanna, vovo kak, send a trakoi. Hanna, okak, ieri, ieri. Hasheri, rize, pit of yovi, have a shivy casgar. Don't drink rivi, don't get any, my hoke grown, shiki timori. What's that? But how can, well, how can they say no? She said no drag. I know, right? I mean. <laughs> like, yeah. Listen to mom. <laughs> okay. I like the fact that Uncle is back. He's back. But he's dead, alive. I don't know. Like a zombie Yeah. And like I said, I created about take notes with Daenerys. Get that big old dragon right there. Oh, yeah, we we went to, yeah. It grew a little bit in his vacation. Yeah. <laughs> And then, um, um yeah. he's so gullible. Yeah. He's really he gullible at that. the same time. He's disciplined as he is. But the person that he should be listening to is his mama and dad, right? I think. But, yeah, I'm surprised. And Sparrow, like, yeah, I got your son. I got the king now. So, you gonna be able to do whatever you can, whatever yeah. you want to do in the city. Look like he, at least he thinks he can. Look, and then, I, I got control of the king now. So it's very interesting how that's gonna pan out. Now he had banned his dad, stash on. How do you say that, Donkle? Donk. My daddy, uncle. Donkle. Donkle Jamie. Donkle Jamie. <laughs> Dunkle. Came up with a good word. Dunkle. So he's sending Dunkle away. And for a, not understanding why he ain't dead. Like Dunkle, Jamie said, he's like 400 years old. I mean, he's just one of the evil people that just evil. so honorary that just oh, live God. forever. Yeah, just mom and dad, because you do have people like that. Boy, that's true, because I came across them. Working with some of the elderly, I came across them. Man, they be mean. They just live to be mean. Yeah. And you be like, everybody else be dying around them. And they just strong, cussing you out and everything. I mean, you know, if this and you know. Yeah. Right. I'm still alive. I'm, I'll be thinking about it. How you still alive? And they take the whole sweet little lady, the old little man that just yeah. we could be. But I guess, you know, sometimes. They fire in the blood. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> but that is okay. And then Arya. Arya made a choice. So Arya's not going to get, she is not getting a third chance. The man with no face has already, you know, said the bloodhead girl, which she loves that, you know. She loves the fact that she can go yeah, kill Arya. He he's talking about, which I'm thinking, he said, don't let her suffer. So that's why he kill her. So um, it's crazy. But I guess you don't want to give up your name. That Your name means something, Stark. You know, your family is. The people are fighting for your name. You know? Yeah. The people are still fighting for well, your name. She had, start. She had, uh, was pretty much set on giving it up until she started seeing those plays and then she started thinking but No, my list come back. You know, that's what she probably was thinking. Mm. Like when she was talking to Lady Crane about she would be mad, angry. Mm -hmm. She would want revenge. Yeah. That was, that was her talking. But she was angry. She wants revenge. Wanted revenge. 
I think that snapped her out of being no one yeah. back to being Arya. Why we gotta be no one to be assassins? Because that's what they are, just assassins. But my thing is, why kill somebody because they're better than the other person? If she put in the work, but she ugly. The other girl that wasn't the Miss Crane did, she ugly. She ain't cute. But put in the work. Put in the work. Maybe she knows she'll never be that good. Well, how you know that if you don't ever put in the work? You know what I'm saying? Put in the work. But. Why would you want to kill people? Mm-hmm. Just yeah, that's true. She wants to be. She wants to be the the important one. But why kill people just because they're better than you? Oh well, that's life, right, y'all? I guess people well, I people kill people with their words because they're better than them. They're jealous of them instead of just putting in the work. Yeah, do what somebody else do. Put in the work. They put in long hours. She probably ran her lines day in, day out. She's been doing it for years and years because she's probably 20 years older than that girl. Yeah. Who... Put in the work. But that, that man that playing Tywin. Yeah. He can't. Heck, the boy, young boy with the warts on his TV, he can't. I'm like, come on, you've been over dramatic and you're not feeling it. You just looking like a fool to me. Yeah. You know, yeah. But back in those days, I guess. Back in the days, I don't know if they really had good actors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for joining us on this journey. If this is your first time, hit the subscribe button. And as always, gives us give us a thumbs up if you liked it and keep the comments coming. Until next time. Bye-bye.